amino acids all of you know that the amino acids are actually building blocks of the protein so naturally occurring amino acids have actually amino group bonded to the alpha carbon of the carboxy group so the carboxy group is here next carbon is alpha carbon where the amino group is attached and because of this because of uh, amino group present at alpha carbon these amino acids are called alpha amino acids so all amino acids are represented by this general formula where r is called a side chain now uh, uh the different facts uh, about or uh, the regarding this amino acids we have to discuss actually all proteins are actually uh, polyamides all proteins are polyamides so when amino acids join together by nh2 group of one amino acid and coh group are another of another amino acid we get actually conh linkage and this linkage is called amide linkage and this is repeatedly coming in the protein so proteins are actually polyamides formed by a joining of amino acids together so the proteins are actually nothing but the a giant molecule form after the joining of amino acids and they are called polyamides so you have to remember proteins as a polyamides then r group is called a side chain so r group of amino acid is called side chain the simplest form when r is equal to h that is actually a simplest amino acid or the first amino acid this is called glycine so except glycine all other amino acid is having stereogenic center a chiral carbon so having a chiral carbon except glycine all other amino acids having this kind of stereogenic center so stereogenic center so you have to remember another point next naturally occurring amino acids are actually l amino acid so you can see the configuration so this l capital l is actually representing the configuration configuration means what if i put here mirror its mirror image will be like this nh2 cooh h and r now you can see here its mirror image nh2 group is toward right hand side and in this molecule nh2 group is toward left hand side when nh2 group is toward left hand side this is represented by l letter l this is called l amino acid and its enantiomer is a d amino acid so d amino acid don't forget you are using it this capital letters so these are actually used for the configuration of this stereogenic center this stereogenic center so when h2 is toward left hand side this is l amino acid and when nh2 group is toward right hand side this is d amino acid and all naturally occurring amino acids are l amino acid so there is a, a another notations we use uh, if there is stereogenic center we can use rs designation rs designation and all l amino acids except cysteine you remember except cysteine this is very very important point except cysteine all amino acids are having actually yes designation so they are yes in configuration so all amino acids have a certain common name as i mentioned here glycine cysteine glutamic acid and all so all these amino acids are actually represented by either one letter abbreviation or a three letter abbreviation so these are the points which you should remember regarding amino acids thank you